This is the Budapest criteria for complex regional pain syndrome. And to make the diagnosis of complex regional pain syndrome, you need all four of the following. The first and the fourth are the easy ones to remember. A patient must have ongoing pain that is disproportionate to the original injury, and there must be no other diagnosis that better explains the patient's signs and symptoms. The second criteria is that the patient must have at least three of the following clinical symptoms. They should have sensory reports of hyperesthesia or allodynia, vasomotor, vasomotor reports of skin temperature or color changes, pseudomotor reports of edema or sweating changes, or motor or trophic reports of weakness or tremor, or changes in the quality of hair, nails, skin in the affected region. Lastly, Criteria number three is that patient has to have at least two of the following clinical exam findings. Evidence of hyperesthesias or allodynia, temperature asymmetry or skin color changes, edema or sweating changes, or decreased motor function or trophic changes.